Funnier and funnier. So, Superman is now bisexual. So, after the last video I did about Venom being gay now, that was about, for those of you that missed out, that was an article about the possibility of Venom being gay in the movie. They, they took an interview from Andy Serkis and it kind of spun it like he might be gay. People were saying I was homophobic over that. Absolutely not. Only thing I was saying is don't fundamentally change a character. So I said, if there's something I didn't remember, please let me know. Plenty of fans actually sent me uh, messages and emails. They were like, yo, you know, actually, they did have them have a baby and have them start to call each other love and darling. And then one of them sent me a clip from an old Spider-Man comic. And I remember this. I actually have it where Spider-Man and Venom are fighting, and at one point he says, if you want me, here I am. And like, so there's this struggle between the symbiote because he wants to be with Spider-Man over Venom. Now, that's one of those things that can be, you know, it's, it's vague. Yeah, it's ambiguous. It's kind of like, okay, well, maybe he just feels a stronger bond with him as a symbiote, but people could also spin it as being gay. Fine, okay. If fundamentally he was gay, he was gay. I don't have a big problem with that, and I never did. I explained to you guys before. Listen, I started out in bodybuilding, then modeling, then acting. Three professions that have a huge LGBTQ community. I would have gotten in, if I had a problem, I would have gotten into the wrong three industries. <laughs> <laughs> My issue is as a fan of these characters, don't change them fundamentally. And I'm open to being educated if they were originally maybe possibility gay. Or whatever it is they want to make them now to fit them in with these running um, narratives that we have going on now. Um, what did it start? The first character I think that I heard about being gay that they changed gay was Iceman. Now, Iceman, I think, was out for, what, 30, 40 years before they did that with him? So, fundamentally, he wasn't. And that's all I'm saying. You know, they did it with Colossus. He was out several years before they ever did it. Uh, eventually, I don't know who else. They just did it with Robin. Now, they're doing it with um, Superman's son. And my whole thing is, like, I, I just don't... I know why they're doing it, but why? I don't know. Why piss the public off? Like, I'm not hugely attached to any of these characters like that. I understand that they're fake and they're entertainment, but I do understand that people are. People are very, um, uh, um, they, they see, the, they, they see the, themselves in these characters. So when you change these characters, fundamentally, you mess with these people. Like, and I had have, I have fans write me that are gay, and you'll even, if you go to that video, you'll see in the comment section, there's gay fans that's like, yo, man, you ain't homophobic. We, we already know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Look, I got LGBTQ family members and friends and coworkers since, look, I came into YouTube as an actor. I was an actor before YouTube. You see what I'm saying? Like, but people always try to spin your words. People ask me, what do I need to know? And I never tell people this about being a YouTuber. You want to be a YouTuber, you got to remember, no matter what you do, someone, some community, some subculture will take your words and spin them for a narrative that suits their movement. You will be attacked for nothing. You, you could save a child in the middle of the road. You will be ridiculed because you didn't grab the child by the waist, you grab them by their arms. Oh, you could have dislocated their shoulders when pulling them out of the street. But I saved the kid's life. You know what I mean? It's, it's so nutty. So, um, that's the whole thing. 
And so many channels have been talking about that. Um, that's why go woke, go broke. Like, I don't understand why the companies continue to do it. Like, I don't, I, I just don't get it. You know what I mean? Gay people, LGBTQ members are saying, we don't like this. There are some that are, but I would argue the majority are saying, what are you doing? Why don't you just make a new character, make him gay, and, and promote him? Like, why don't you just do that? Why are you switching these characters up and causing this uproar? Is it for the uproar? Is it for the news? Is it for all that stuff? Like, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. But anyway, so, um, it says here, see, now, they didn't do it with, with Clark Kent, and they didn't do it with Bruce Wayne. Um, there's an ar argue, there's, it's arguable between him and Dick Grayson way back when, because there's that one that people always use, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, like, uh, there's that one thing of them in bed together, where he's kind of like, why are they in bed together? I don't know. I mean, I mean, he's this ward, like he's his son, uh, son and dad sometimes sleep in the bed together. I don't know, you know what I mean? But, like, why did they take super popular characters... And then switch on the dime. Like, they don't need to do that. They can make a brand new character. Case in point. Case in point. When Miles Morales was made, I wasn't excited about him. At all. I wasn't excited about it. I thought it was, oh, okay, cool. We got, you know, got a black Spider-Man, you know, whatever. However, when Spawn was created, he was an original black character. I immediately gravitated to that. And I think that's what we should do with the rest of them. There's people that don't agree. Okay. But I think there's more that agree with me than don't agree with me. You know? And that goes for people in the LGBTQ community. And you know what's funny too? Like I make these videos and then people attack me over it. Every single LGBTQ family member that has seen my videos and friends and co-workers never Give me shit about it. They understand exactly what I'm talking about. They don't try to spit it. Oh, and you're home and firmly. They don't do that. Because they know what I said. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. But it says here DC is making a bold statement with its new Superman by revealing that he is bisexual in an upcoming issue. For those unfamiliar with the current continuity of DC Comics, there are currently two heroes operating as Superman. One is Clark Kent, who originally debuted in comic books in 1938. The second is his and Lois's son, John Kent, the knockoff. I mean, they don't want to play around with Clark himself or Bruce himself because... They know the tidal wave that'll come from everybody, from the majority of the public. But when you test it out on the side characters, maybe they could fit in later on a more prominent character. Uh, John spent some time as Superboy before his father recently convinced him to take on the title of Superman as well. In an upcoming issue, John will take after his father when he begins a relationship with an up-and-coming journalist named Jay Nakamura. Nakamura, that sounds familiar. Like I've heard that before in another character. Nakamura. According to... No. No, that's the, the wrestler. That's the wrestler. <laughs> anyway, according to an announcement from DC Comics, the two initially became friends when John was making an attempt at having a secret identity at a high school student, as a high school student. However, in Superman, Son of Kal-El, number five, the two will share a kiss after Superman becomes mentally and physically burnt out from trying to save everyone, everyone he possibly can. I've always said everyone needs heroes and everyone deserves to see themselves in their heroes. And I'm very grateful DC and Warner Bros. share this idea, said writer Tom Taylor. Superman's symbol has always been, always stood for hope, truth, and justice. 
and the American way. Let's not forget that. <laughs> They've changed that <laughs> recently. Can't be for American ways. Got to be for justice for all. I get it. I get it. Today, that symbol represents something more. Today, more people can see themselves in the most powerful superheroes in comics. Artist John Timms added, and I'm incredibly honored to be working beside Tom on Superman Son of kal -El series, showing John Kent tackling his complex modern life while having also saving things, uh, save, sorry, saving the world from its greatest threats and villains and menaces. Um, as the New York Times notes, the movie, this move marked a significant step for diversity in comics, which struggled in an early day as critics and politicians linked their readership to delinquency. I, I don't know if this is a major move. I mean, they already did it with, with, they already did it with Iceman. They already did it with, um, wait, they already did it with Iceman. They did it with Colossus. Uh, Iceman, Colossus, Venom. Well, Venom was arguably since the beginning, so now I'm not going to include that. And, uh, Wolverine's son. It, Wolverine's son was always like that, right? I think so, right? Uh, Draken, whatever his name is. But they, they did it with Wolverine. They hinted at it later. Wolverine's been out for decades. And they had that where he was saying something about, uh, can it be both? Something about having a man and a woman. <laughs> we all know Wolverine never was bisexual. Um, hey, it is what it is. Um, I don't collect comics anymore. I'm a huge fan when I was a kid up until my early 20s. I'm 44 now. I've stopped collecting. Uh, but um, I don't know. I just think a lot of this stuff is... Sorry, a little tiny gnat. I think a lot of it's just uh, for headlines, for news, to get an uproar, to test people, to see reactions, to see what happens. You know, reactions are huge, big business now, you know, since they became popular in my early days of YouTube. Companies value reactions big time because they know initially how people think and how they may uh, take on something that... At the end of the day, they want to make money from. So, I don't know. I mean, it's like, if they make a lot of money from it, then I guess it worked. If their sales into the toilet, then it, you know, it hasn't worked. You know, like I said, I haven't had one gay family or friend uh, tell me that they had an issue with any of my videos or that. As a matter of fact, they all agreed. And my fans are agreeing that are in the LGBTQ community. It's like, yo, can you just give us an original character? Stop just stop bending it. Just like their race bending and their gender swap and all. Just give us an original one to represent us. Can y'all do that? You know what I mean? <laughs> stop switching these prominent characters into something like, oh yeah, Black Superman. Oh yeah, yeah, this and that. Uh, you know, isn't there Asian Hulk? You know what I mean? Like, there's so many that they just kind of switched on it. I don't know. I, I just, I think people see it as a cheap and easy way to write in their representation instead of just developing a brand new character. There's so many comic artists and writers, writers out there that could come up with badass characters that start representing these different communities, whether it be race, whether it be gender, whether it be um, um, your, your sexuality, no matter what it is, they can create new characters and and do it, do it. But like I said, I think a lot of it's shock value. I do. I think, you know, and shock value is big business. You know what I mean? They got me to make a video about it. You, I woke up to all these different messages on, on my on, in my email. And um, uh, uh, on Instagram, because uh, I check my Instagram messages, you know, kind of infrequent. I, I will check. I don't check them all the time, but I decided to check them today. My email, I was just like, people were like, yo, you got to check it out. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> here you go. All right, Magnesites, post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Get ready for my words to be twisted. Um, and uh, yeah.
Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 10 million subscribers. <laughs> Woo!